Renaixe. Are you a hunter? I am skilled, but unable to chase away all of these ten lands alone. Our village barely survives.
about to get dicey. You're running out of energy. Drink your potion. Here we have a rather strange group. Do you come from the continent? Do you have any news to discuss? I wonder how things are going on the island, at San Mateos in particular. I need a bit of practice. Greenblood, tell me, do you remember that young recruit I spoke to you about? I would still like to present him to you. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? But of course, let's go. Sarade, I'd like to know more about my family. 
I need to know what became of them. Could you accompany me to see Lady Morange? I'm afraid that without you, she may refuse to give me any information. But I see you're already busy with something else. Come find me again when you're available. Did you want anything else? I must leave you. Greetings. What can I do for you? Why build an outpost here? Well, we do have to watch over the land surrounding the city. With the bandits, the beasts, and the natives. We don't have a lot of time to rest, you know. Anything else? Halt! In the name of the Enlightened One, present yourself. Sir de Sardé, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier D. I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting your visit, Your Excellency. Welcome. May he light your way.
May the enlightened bless you. Answer me. Why? Why are you doing this? Behold your so-called gods. You are demons. They burn. They are nothing. You shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. <gasps> Get your pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You are mad. <laughs> Renounce your gods! Inquisitor? You! Stop where you are! The pagan stink of these soulless natives taints you. You bring demon-spawned barbarians through our gates. <sighs> This man just killed some helpless soul in front of our eyes, and he calls us barbarians. Who are you to address with such familiarity? I am the Inquisitor Aloysius, and you will be going nowhere lest your answers give me satisfaction. Do you believe that the God of Light is the one and only God? Don't tell me that you are going to humor this crazed assassin. If I want to complete my mission, I believe I have no other choice. Yes, I believe it to be so. Really? If that's the case, what is the name of the most holy of men? He who transmitted the Divine Testament. For how long are you going to stand this questioning? He insults you. Silence, demon spawn. I am not asking you the questions. Everyone in the world knows that the holy prophet and founder of Teleme is Mateus. You seem well versed in your readings of the righteous faith. One final question, and you may continue along your path. What gift did his sacred divinity award us when we accepted the words of his divine prophet. He gave us magic, but it is a rather tricky theological enigma. Many would argue that he offered us far more than that. Precisely. Precisely. Your answers blur and your tongue wavers. You are no true believer. Your words seem tainted in lies, ruse, and deceitful purpose. You shall have to learn to live with it. We have tolerated this interrogation long enough. Your companion's attitude reveals your lack of faith and commitment. Your very presence in our holy city is outrageous blasphemy. May he guide my hand. <laughs> to my help! <laughs> and death to the others! Enough! 
This time brute force has prevailed, but the light always triumphs in the end. I will not forget our encounter, and I am certain that we shall meet again. Young man, pardon me, are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin, and I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, father? Bishop Petrus, how divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? <laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young boy. I'm on my way to New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. I must first meet the Mother Cardinal to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you, and then we can take the road together. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again. Your Eminence, in the name of the Congregation of Merchants, I present my best regards. May the light bless you and accompany you on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. I learned that you crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. I'm extremely sorry that this visit took a violent turn. Aloysius's faith is sometimes too absolute. I hope that you have it in you to look beyond it and forgive his zeal. Another subject brings me as well. The Malachor. The horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. A demon? An evil spirit? It's very strange. Oh, I know no planet worships this sort of troubled spirit. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations, and I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. Alas, the population is very secretive, and we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us in this matter, in other words, if the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to his majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague, and his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter.
Greetings! Do you want to... So, where... Thanks, but I'd rather... Must be with the other recruits in the barracks. I never would have thought you one to take a young recruit under your wing. I have judged you poorly, Kurt. That's been my curse my entire life, Father. People have trouble seeing past the uniform. I need a bit of practice. Hello, Your Excellency. Good day, soldiers. Your Excellency. Captain. Soldiers, may we be of service? Rank and assignment, soldiers. Recruit, first class, Blue Silver Regiment, 8th Company, Your Excellency. The Blue Silver Regiment is made up of men attributed to serve the Congregation of Merchants. I'm one of them, and the 8th Company was sent to Tier for D, with two other companies. Anything else, Excellency? I'm looking for the soldier, Rayner. Is he in the barracks? I never heard that name before, Captain. Never heard the name, Captain. That's strange. I'm certain he was sent here. Maybe he's been moved since then. When was the last time you'd heard news of him? In Serene, just before our departure. But that's been a couple of months. If I may, Captain, sh should I have a word with the Quartermaster? That's right, Captain. He has a register with the affectations of every recruit in the Blue Silver Regiment. Anything else, Excellency? What is your charge? Maintain order in the city, Excellency. Anything else, Excellency? That will be all. At ease, soldiers. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've been looking for one of my recruits. Goes by the name of Rayner. I would like for His Excellency to meet him. Rayner? I'm sorry, Kurt. I thought you'd been informed. Informed about what? He is dead. He was found, drowned in the port harbor day before yesterday. I was told he had too much to drink and fell in. I'm extremely sorry, Kurt. The young men drink more than they can handle when they're on leave. That's bollocks. That lad isn't the sort to sully himself with drink. I don't believe it. People change. When they're far from home, the lads have little else to do. I still don't believe it. Listen, you might as well go and ask the doctor down in the morgue. I might have misunderstood what was reported to me. Those doctors use such long words for simple things. Excellent idea. At least now you'll see it for yourself. You're right. Let's go. Is there anything else? No, thank you.
Well now, a visit. Can I help you with something? Whatever is a doctor of the Bridge Alliance doing in the barracks of the new Serene Coin Guard? I was posted here from the University of Al Saad, as per their agreement with the Guard. Agreement? What sort of agreement? The Guard requested dedicated doctors for the care of their troops. The University accepted under two conditions. That the doctors practice only in the territories of the Bridge or her allies, and that we have the privilege of examining all of their corpses in the interest of anatomical study. These requests were made official thanks to the agreement charter, and I must say we have been able to increase our knowledge of anatomy immensely. Anything else? We are here concerning the matter of recruit Rayner. Are you family or friends? You could say that. I'm the one who recruited the lad. I see. Well, what I can do is tell you what I can. When was the body brought to you? Day before yesterday, in the early morning. Can you tell me anything about the circumstances? All I know is what I was told by the fellows who brought the body to me. They said they'd spent the evening together at the tavern, that they'd had a great deal to drink. A horrid habit the soldiers all seem to share. Rayner was not a drinker. Maybe not. All the same, he was drinking that night. He stepped outside for a moment and never came back in. His companions found him drowned in the bay early morn, and they brought him to me. How then did he die, in your opinion? He drowned. I'm sorry. It's regrettable. He was quite a young man. Yeah, and his death makes no sense. He didn't drink, and he knew how to swim. All the same, that's what happened. I greatly regret it. Might we take a look at the body? Um, no, I wouldn't recommend that. To see your friend in such a state. I'm a soldier, Doc. I've seen a number of men in pieces. Let me see the young lad. I... I regret, Captain, I cannot allow that. To be quite frank, we're leaving you no choice. I doubt that you'll be able to stop my friend from doing what he wants, and today he's driven by sadness. And when he's of sad sorts, the slightest frustration can turn that melancholy into a rage. And alas for you, he's quite violent when he's in a rage. You... you wouldn't dare. I've been appointed by the Elder of the University of... Quite violent. I... Very well. Do as you see necessary, beasts. It's the body in the middle. Examine him if you must. But please be so kind as to not leave a mess after you. This one is just a boy. His face is still locked in an expression of pain. Kurt, is this your recruit? Yes, that's my Rainer. Poor kid. I should have left him with his family where he was. If you want to learn more, we'll need to examine the body. Is that all right? He's not the first young man I've seen with the lights gone from his eyes. Go on. I'm no doctor, but this boy doesn't seem to have drowned at all. It looks like he's been beaten. Oh, it's suspicious. The boy I knew would never have drunk himself senseless to the point he'd fall into the bay, I'm telling you. I believe you, Kurt. But if we want to prove it, we'll need to find more evidence. Excuse me, Doctor, but you owe us a few explanations. This boy did not die by drowning. It is absolutely the cause of death, I assure you. The science of death is a complex art, and you are certainly not a doctor. That is true, but you are. Do you recognize your own notes? Your writing is hard to read, but the word drowning never appears. Oh, what an 
idiot. I should have burned those notes. I am truly sorry. I, I swear I have never, ever falsified a report before. But I was given no choice in the matter. How's that? What are you talking about? Two men, uh, uh, lieutenants, I believe, brought a body to me telling me the boy had drowned in an accident. I saw immediately this was a lie, but I did not push the matter. I began my examination, planning to submit my report to the quartermaster as per usual, but the men returned. I was told to forget what I'd discovered and say that he had indeed drowned, or else. Who were they? I have no idea. I had never seen them before at the barracks. I, I guess they're ranked by their uniforms. What colors were they sporting? None. They must have removed the emblems of their regiment. Listen, it's obvious that this boy was beaten repetitively, and that was the cause of death. I have no intention of suffering the same fate. Have no fear, Doctor. We will make no mention of your name. Poor child. I shall pray that he is welcomed by the illuminated Kurt. Thank you, Petrus. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? We have a situation, Manfred. Rayner didn't drown. The doctor falsified his report. He was threatened and feared for his own life. You have to be pulling me leg. Who bullied the crow face? Lieutenants that he didn't recognize, alas. And he wore no regiment emblems. Which regiment was Rayner assigned to? I would like to have a word with his commanding officer. Let me have a look at the register. My memory isn't what it once was. Stab my heart with a rusty blade. His name's been crossed out. Oh, if I catch the bastard that did that. What mess was the boy into, Manfred? What could this be about? Your lad was in the 6th or maybe the 11th, before being reassigned to who knows where. Just like that? You out of everyone have to know where the recruits are assigned. Not of late. This isn't the first lad who's been reassigned all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. Each time I start complaining about it, I'm told they've changed regiments. And it's not my concern. Something truly bizarre is going on here. I don't like this at all. Let's try and discover which company he was stationed at before this mysterious reassignment. Is there anything else? No, thank you. I need to get to the bottom of this mystery, Greenblood. I don't like being taken for a fool. Even if the lieutenants weren't stationed at these barracks, someone here must know where Rayner was assigned. We should also go and check the tavern. Men on leave will perhaps have looser lips than those within the walls. Good day, soldier. Uh, good day, my lord. De Sardé, legate of the congregation on Tier D. Captain Kurt. Oh, I... Excuse me, Excellency. I... I didn't know. Captain, I... I truly am sorry. At your service, my lord. Excellency. You don't quite look like you've got the hang of all this. How long have you been in? I... Is it that obvious? It's quite normal for a new recruit. I joined up four months ago, but at the beginning we were on board ship, you see. I don't know if that really counts. I started exercises when we got to New Serene, but I'm making progress, they say. And do you like it here? I sure do. That's why I joined the Guard, to come here, to leave the continent. Know what I mean? I do. Anything else? That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Excellency! I saw you in the palace, if I'm not mistaken. Your Excellency has a good eye and memory. I am one of the officers, in charge of the protection of your cousin's counsellors. How can I help you? You said you were responsible for the protection of my cousin's counsellors. That's right, Your Excellency. It's my assignment. When I'm not on leave, that is. And what sort of work do you carry out exactly? Essentially, to assure that every one of those prestigious persons is accompanied by a guard. 
But I also have to follow and verify their personnel. Valets, chambermaids, secretaries. And is everything in order? One of our counselors is an old professor of mine. You know how it is. All is as should be expected, Excellency. Lord de Cassillion is in good hands, rest assured. Anything else? We are investigating the death of a young recruit, a certain Rainer. I've never heard the name before. He's not one of my men. I know. But you might at least have heard someone mention him in passing. Did he die at the palace? No. We have no idea where it happened, only where the body was found. So? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. That doesn't ring any bells. None at all. I recruited the lad myself, Lieutenant. And just a while ago, I saw his body broken and bruised in the morgue. Someone has been trying to cover this up, to lead us down false trails at every turn. But Rayner deserves justice. I know you have to understand that. I hear you. The murder of one of our own should not go unpunished. But alas, I don't know how I can help you. This is the first I've heard about it. At your service, my lord, Excellency. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Good day, Lieutenant. My lord, you are one of the governor's confidants, are you not? Indeed. De Sade, the governor's legate. My sincere pardon, Excellency. I didn't want to show any disrespect. Captain? Lieutenant? How can I help you? To which company do you belong? The 8th. We're responsible for city security. Some of the men of this company are under my orders, charged to protect the palace. I'm personally in charge of the port and the surrounding streets. When I'm not on leave, that is. Are you also in charge of criminal matters? Investigations? No, Excellency. But an officer of my company is in charge. Anything else? We seek information concerning a young recruit, a certain Rayner. Rayner? Sorry, name isn't familiar to me. He must be with another company. Are you sure about that? This is an important matter. I'm certain, Captain. Was he family to you? I recruited him. You know what that's like. The boy was killed and then tossed in the bay. I want the head of whoever's responsible. I did hear talk of a young lad found in the port waters. That's my sector. But I was told that it was an accident, and I had no reason to doubt it. Are you sure the lad was murdered? Absolutely certain. Beaten to death, to be precise. Well, that's horrible. But I don't know anything about it. Too bad. Thank you, all the same. Goodbye, Lieutenant. What can I pour for you? I'm looking for information concerning a young recruit going by the name of Reina. Sorry, there's nothing but soldiers here, with a few sailors. Well, one recruit or another, it's half a dozen of one, six of the other to me. You should just try talking to them yourself. You got yourself quite a selection. At your service, my lord. Since you know who we are, present yourself, soldier. Ah, yes, sir. Recruit 2nd Class Alric, Blue Silver Regiment, 11th Company. At your service. Anything else? Here, you seem tired and a little on edge. A drink would do you some good. It's just that I don't know if I'm allowed. You're on leave, or you wouldn't be at the tavern. Then why not? Yes, but this is His Excellency's own bottle. I don't know if I can. Drink, I tell you. Now then, why don't you tell us what you know about Rainer? Well, I didn't. I didn't serve with him. Well, not really. We just crossed paths. He was leaving the 11th when I joined. Everyone said he was good, strong, and, uh, followed orders. And then, poof, 
Lieutenant got this order and he wasn't happy. And I mean really quite unhappy. And then Rayner, he was gone. We never saw him again. We asked where he'd been sent, but the Lieutenant didn't want to tell us. Said that it was none of our business. But you, he won't be able to say no to you. You should go and offer him a drink too. Where can we find your Lieutenant? At the barracks. Thank you. And watch yourself when leaving. Wouldn't want you to fall into the bay. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. What can I pour for you? Give me a bottle of your... Lay. Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? Could you tell me which company you serve? The 11th, Excellency. Anything else? What's your assignment? The 11th is assigned to road and outpost security for the congregation on the island. As for me, I'm responsible for the training of recruits and the patrol duty roster. Anything else? We are concerned about the death of a young recruit named Rayner. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that Rayner belonged to your company. And as the acting lieutenant instructor, you certainly had him under your command. So just stop with the lies. We've lost enough time here. You know what they say. Guard business is well guarded. And concerns only the guard. Now, unless you've lost your eyesight, you've a captain in front of you. I... I know, but this story is dangerous, Captain. If you have so much as an ounce of respect for the boy, speak to us. Don't you believe he deserves justice? Yes, of course. But you have no idea what's been going on here. If word got round that I've been talking, come back after sundown, when there's fewer folk. Very well. We'll be back. <sighs> Anything else? Are you sure that you can't help us? Something terrible has befallen the poor boy. Let's be perfectly straight. We and as the acting soldier, don't I, if don't yes, we come back. Very. Any. Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. Your men are terrified. I haven't seen that face on a grown man for a very long time. When was that? A few years back, in Tanami, when some members of the high clergy behaved like a band of brigands.
We are quite alone now. You may speak to us. Reyna was indeed a member of my company. And an excellent recruit. But you already know that. Continue. One morning, I got a note telling me he'd been transferred from my company. He'd received a new assignment. I was so furious that I did my own little investigation to see where he'd been sent. It wasn't easy. No one wanted to give me answers. No one seemed to know anything. But one thing's for certain. Rainer wasn't the only man to have... disappeared. I learned that a good many recruits, all the cream of the crop, had been reassigned. And finally, I learned about the existence of a phantom regiment. What sort of nonsense are you talking about? A sort of secret, elite company that were following a special training program. Where can we find them? I've no idea. I had to put my investigation to rest. Things were getting dangerous. I began to sense I was being watched. This regiment protects its secrets at all costs with few scruples. If you want to know more, the training officer of the Sixth might know something. It's been said that he took part in one of their missions alongside them. Are you certain you've nothing more to tell me about this infamous secret regiment? I've told you everything I know, at the risk of ending up like Rayner, Excellency. Go and see the officer of the Sixth if you want to learn more. And leave me alone now. Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. Good day, Lieutenant. Excellency, what's your pleasure? To where are you assigned? The Sixth Company is in charge of exploration and expansion of the colony of the Congregation of Merchants on the island. We operate mainly in the wilderness areas, in direct contact with the natives. But don't worry, we respect to the letter, Congregation, directives and standing orders. We avoid all confrontation with them as much as possible. Anything else? What company do you serve? The Sixth Excellency. Anything else? That will be all. Thank you, Lieutenant. Good day, Lieutenant. Excellent. What's your pleasure? Tell me about the Phantom Regiment. About what? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, Your Excellency. Are you certain you don't know where this Phantom Regiment camp can be found? Absolutely certain. And to be honest, I hope I never hear about this matter again. Rayner was one of my recruits, Lieutenant. A young man that I admired. He was killed. His death was disguised. We've been lied to time and time again. Thanks to my friend, we finally learned that the boy had rejoined the Phantom Regiment. And so now, you're gonna tell me all you know without being a weasel about it. Trust me. You don't want me to lose my nerve. But, Captain, I... Now! I've seen the regiment. Even fought beside them on an operation. On that occasion, our marching orders were kept secret until the last minute. We were asked to remove our regiment emblems. And our pay wasn't even recorded. And of course, we were ordered to speak to no one about it under any circumstances. <laughs> I hope you realize the risk I'm taking talking to you about all this. Have no fear. We understand. What was this operation? An attack. A lightning strike on a caravan from the Bridge Alliance. Marvelous. A company that behaves like back alley bandits. I know. It really shakes up the honor code. The regiment is made up of young recruits, carefully chosen. Only the best make it through. The training is extremely arduous. And my guess is that Rayner isn't the only one who's died from it. I know that they set up camp just outside the city where the men live and train, but I'd be at a loss to tell you precisely where it's found. Sorry, Captain. Thank you, Lieutenant. This story is making me sick. 
poor Rainer. If I'd have known, I'd never have recruited him. I'm sorry, Kurt. This isn't your doing. But these filthy phantoms, or whatever they are, are gonna have to settle the debt. Believe me. You do realize that your own commander is certainly involved in this on some level. Outright clandestine operations could not have taken place without his approval. That he's aware of the existence of the regiment, there is no doubt. That he approves of what they're doing. It wouldn't be the first head that didn't know what his hands were up to. What do you wish to do now? I'm gonna find the location of this camp. I have a few friends that can certainly help us. And when I know where to smoke out these bastards, I'll go and have a few fiery words. If you were of a mind to accompany me, two of us would not be too many to make sure they settle their debts. Let me know when you discover where they are to be found. You can count on me.